Do you want to get that verified blue check mark right next to your name? Hmm? Do you want to actually feel how it's like to become an Instagram celebrity without actually being anybody? <laughs> well, I did. And I was actually very happy when somebody seemingly from the Instagram verification department reached out to me claiming to be able to verify me the very same day. The only thing I had to do was pay $300 and it all would be taken care of. In fact, I didn't even have to pay the full amount until after I received my check mark. So even though he did send me some very convincing proof actually about the service, this whole thing did seem pretty sketchy nonetheless. So I actually did what every sane person should do in a situation like this. Just pay and see what happens. You never know. So what exactly happened and why you should be at least a little bit wary of profiles reaching out to you like that, you're gonna see. Let's turn back to time 24 hours and let's see the magic unfold itself. You know, my road to becoming a verified profile on Instagram coming straight from the verification department or not. We're gonna see. All right, so welcome back, Dominators. Welcome to the past, I guess. I've been I've been texting this guy for the whole day. <laughs> so let me just read what happened up until now. So this guy wrote me a message saying, hello, if you've been trying to verify uh, your Instagram page and our Instagram verification department keeps declining your request, just send me a message, let, ver let verify your Instagram page today. And obviously, who doesn't want to get verified? for whatever reasons. It's just internet points, okay? But still, it's, let's just put it that way, it is some sort of authenticity factor. It's it's kind of the fame tick, the fame factor, exhibit factor, right? The pimped factor, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And I said, yeah, they've been declining me. I actually tried it once, because one of you guys reached out to me and said, maybe he was a scammer too. But anyway, I said, yeah, they've been declining me. I feel like I got declined my whole life. The first time when I was just two years old, but that was a very private story. And I'll only tell you once we get to know each other. You know, I always have to try to try to see what what these guys were up to. Because here's the thing, you know, usually I'm pretty sure that things are a scam or not. But with these verified scam scammers, sometimes even though they're scammers, they still can verify your accounts. I've been working with a lot of clients who got their verification kind of like that. Granted, it was a little bit more expensive than, you know, we're gonna see. So I said, yeah, I've been in the decline ever since I was two years old. And he said, that's because you didn't meet our requirements, our requirements. You know, him speaking that, saying that, yeah, he's from, from the Instagram, from the Instagram world. I will send you our requirements now, as soon as meet, as soon as meet it, we will verify your account within 48 hours, all right? He said, first he said today, now he said 48 hours, but, but whatever, I have time. You know, once I'm verified, so the requirement, unique, only one account per person or business can Instagram verification with exceptions for language specific account. Sounds reasonable. Complete. What do you mean complete? Oh, complete. Do you have a complete bio, profile photo, and at least one post? Password not required. What do you mean password not required? He probably means they, I don't have to give them my password, obviously, okay. Duration 72 hours. First he said today, then he said 48 hours somewhere. And now 72 hours, but good. You never know. Fee $300, deposit fee $150. After verifying your account, you balance up. Notification, you will receive an email from the Instagram verification department as regarding your payment. So ask to start processing immediately, double dots. <laughs> Yeah, I, I once read a, uh, a, a study saying that people who love to use these double or triple or quadruple bots, dots, bots, or quadruple dots, seem to be mentally unstable, or at least a little bit less stable than the general public seems to be. But um, yeah, let's not get sidetracked. So I said, okay, and after 72 hours, I have the check mark and it's done forever? <laughs> Will I get banned? Will it stay forever? I'm asking because I kind of have trust issues since my father left. Not true though. Hey dad, what's up? He said, you won't get banned at all. Yes, after 72 hours, you will be verified after making the deposit payment. The take is forever. It can't be removed again after getting it. I have to intervene right here because I've worked with clients where the tick the check mark actually was taken off again, taken away again, because they found out some hack or something, some hacker. So even if you have a verified badge, 
you're not safe, just speaking from within the industry. That's why the deposit payment is compulsory before the take appears. We have some proofs here. If you don't mind, we can send you some of them. Obviously. Yes, please. He said, okay. Then he went on to send me some conversations that he had with some people that he verified, apparently. Michel Kahn. Hey, George, what do you need for a verified badge? Obviously. <laughs> he, yeah. Obviously, this is how things work. All you need, blah, blah, blah. How much? Yeah, sent me your PayPal. Then he said, hey, I didn't get anything in my email, but a day later he got verified. We have successfully verified your account within the hours as promised. This is his name, Kanipa. As we can see, 40,000 followers. Seems legit. You know, if you if you take a look at this, it seems legit for me. I don't know about you, but like it seems like it's a real person, especially if they have a link tree up, Dropbox stuff. So it really seems legit. Oh, and he actually even put up a story. Uh, there you go. So another guy, you know, basically just a bunch of people and he showed me, well, people are actually verified. He said, thank you, thanks a lot. Anyway, then I said, okay, and do you have any guarantee? Because it's 300 bucks that we're talking about, you know? And he said, yes, it is 100% guaranteed. So I'm like, sounds interesting. A trial will convince you, whatever that means. I was like, what's a trial? A trial of a of a check mark? I thought it once it's there, it can't be taken away. You know? And he said, when we get started with it now. That's a trial? I don't understand. Can we proceed? Let me know if you're not interested again, so as to remove your account from the eligible account for verification on our system. So kind of between the lines, he's threatening me to answer right now, or otherwise I won't be able to get verified at all anymore. At least that's what it seems to me, subconsciously, you know, me having trust issues, right? <laughs> so I was like, sure, sure. I'm just wondering how to pay because I wanted to kind of test my waters. At this point, I, I have to be honest with you. I was still not entirely convinced that it was a total scam, you know? Could have still been possible that they have some weird loophole, you know? So I just wanted to see. So I wanted to check out what kind of payment systems that they use, obviously. So I'm like, okay, PayPal would be fine. Payment by friends and family to avoid issues with payment, all right? And this is the first, this is when I started, my guards were getting up, you know, because usually, because friends and family, you can't refund. You know, you sent this through friends and family, and then you're like, well, you know, you sent it to a friend, we can't refund this to you. So obviously a lot of scammers do, do that. So I said, friends and family, how can I be sure that you won't run away with my money? Run away with what? You saw our customers, we successfully verified. We need the deposit payment to get you the blue take before you balance up. Our job here is 100% guaranteed. No games, nobody's running away with your money, man. We are verifying you in the next 48 hours as soon as payment is made. So maybe even faster. So I'm like, of course, I, I wanna believe you, but you gotta understand me too. I know it's against their terms of service and we all know you can just send me some screenshots, you know, because because you know. How about I'll send you a hundred bucks and the rest after it went through. He said, we don't accept a hundred bucks, but I will accept it to convince you. You promise to send balance when you get the tick, okay? Remember that. And don't forget to send via family and friends. If not, it will be refunded back to you. This is when your guards should be as high as possible. If not, let me know so we can remove your Instagram page for other custom customers to get verified. See, another, you know, kind of pushing me to go over, kind of pushing me to, um, yeah, get this done as fast as possible. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, I will send you now, no worries. Okay, man, we're waiting, done. So what I did was I actually went to PayPal and wired him a hundred bucks through friends and family. Because at this point I was pretty convinced that it was a scam, but still, there was a 2% chance that it was not. But still, just put yourself into the shoes of gullible people like you and me. <laughs> You know, even though there's a 2% chance of this actually happening, you know, for some people, a hundred bucks, whatever. Obviously the check mark being a thing that people want to have more than anything else. Anyway, I wired him the money and I figured out another scam, actually. Yeah, it's PayPal themselves. Because if you send some money through friends and family, guess what happens? You have to pay a fee. So for a hundred bucks, I had to pay almost $5 <laughs> 
for not for what so i sent him the photo a screenshot of my payment don't ask me why he asked for that so he said let me confirm i will be back shortly then he said send a valid email address you will get an email from the instagram verification department as regarding your payment and processing code send me the code as soon as you get it so as to proceed with our processing so i was like okay send it to hi at heydominic.com and uh, I did receive the code at first. It took a few hours. Um, then I was like, I didn't receive the code, man. What's what's happening? You know, maybe he was running away with my money already. Maybe that was the scam. He said, check your spam box. So I checked my spam box and obviously it was inside the spam box because why? Chances are because it actually is spam. So what I got was a forward email from the verification department and their email address is verification underscore service dot instagram at aol.com and it really looked like it's kind of an instagram account and they forwarded it to me because you know they're kind of like the middleman having access to instagram or something like this so it does seem legit i could totally see that people fall for that canceling verification puts your account on risk at risk and this will leave your account disabled and you won't be able to use instagram service anymore <laughs> Yeah, I'm just seeing it right now. Apparently, Instagram have, have no idea how to write proper English, which seems to be a common thread. And they actually go on to kind of pressure me into going through with this whole thing and not canceling the verification because it could lead my account getting banned for whatever reason. It makes no sense. But, you know, they just try to pressure you psychologically uh, so you actually go through with even sending more, you know, the rest of the deposit. So I sent him the code, which is for nothing, which is probably just some very advanced psychological scheme to, you know, make me kind of believe in what they do and make this whole thing seem legit. And this gets me right back into this morning, actually. He writes, hey man. Okay, I'm like, hey, why would you even start like this? You know what I mean? How are you, man? And I was like, huh? Is this my friend now? I'm like, yeah, good, what's up? Do you actually, this is how business works? I don't think so. And then he sent me something This is that is so interesting and that is so convincing for, I get, probably it actually is convincing for people who are just wanting to have this fucking blue check, check mark. Your take is fully ready. And he sends me a video. With my account, it will add the very, connecting to the API, you know, it looks, like, why is there even a phone? 32.5 thousand shares <laughs> injecting and it's wait for it, wait for it. Ta-da, guess what's up, successful. Checking CAPTCHA, just some terms to make people believe who, who have no idea about tech and anything to make people believe what's going on. So, you know, kind of this is the proof because this is even a phone, but they, put a lot of effort in it. And I can see people actually falling for that. So at this point, I am I was convinced it was a scam. We need, we need our balance payment before it can be authorized publicly on your account. Congratulations, man. You know, hyping myself up, hyping me up. I will send you PayPal to make the balance payment so as to authorize blue tick immediately. And I was like, it was early in the morning. I was like, ha ha ha, of course. That's not what's agreed upon and you know it, you know? It's some different side of me coming out. As you can see, your tick is ready. Like, of course, I can see it with this video. Obviously, it's real. But we can't authorize it because we need the balance payment to authorize it. We have to pay for a secure 5G network for that. What? You don't have problems, man. Your tech is 100% ready. So I was like, 5G? Yeah, does he have an, any idea what this whole, what 5G actually is and why this has nothing to do with the verification? You know, so I was like, Please explain further about the 5G network because I wanted to know what he's trying to do. Probably what he's doing, and he's just throwing around these these technical terms, these tech terms, and gullible people, they fall for that if somebody seems like they're, you know, techie or something like this. So he's like, the 5G network is used to authorize blue tech from the Instagram verification portal, which will cost us a lot. All right, so they have to establish a whole new network or something, that's all, man. After these are done with verification, and then he sends me another, another one of these things, generating verified profile success, and they're finishing at 98%, <laughs> all right? That's how far we've gone on your account. You just have 2% more. <laughs> this is, yeah, people for, fall for that, which is the balance payment. So it's running up there, and the last 2% where it says success finishing, you have to pay, kind of like in a, <laughs> kind of like in a casino or something like this. 
You know, just the last two percent, pay a little bit more, right? Then the take will be authorized immediately. So, you know, right before. So I say, I thought it says success. You know what that means, right? Yeah, it's been approved from the department. We just need the balance payment to authorize it with the 5G network, that's all. So I'm like, do you even know what a 5G network is and that it has nothing to do with authorizing payments or whatever, and it's not expensive? It's just regular mobile internet. What's that got to do with anything, man? I thought you were legit. I thought we were friends and now you portray me like I'm some whack job. He was like, hey, listen, bro, the 5G network we use here is not the 5G network for internet, okay? Of course not. Of course, how could I not think of that? It is used in the Instagram verification department to authorize ticks, okay? So the tick is actually some special magic trickery where you need a special sort of network protocol or something to get the tick, right? And he's like, you can come and teach us our job here. <laughs> Nobody's play games here. I'm like, okay, good. If that's how it is. Because at this point, I just wanted to see. Pretty sure my money was gone at this point. And he says, I can't show you now until we purchase it for your Instagram account to be verified. And I say, okay, what's the remaining balance? It is $200. Full payment is $300. You are aware of it. And that's all. Your tick will be authorized immediately. So I'm like, okay, hang on. Hang on, man. Let me contact somebody from Instagram to verify that. So I just wanted to see how he's going to react. And he's like, okay, cool. Just playing it cool, I guess, at this point. So I'm like, just before I send it over, just a question. You know the head of Instagram. I'm listening, my friend. <laughs> yeah, Adam Wasiri. We all work under him. So they work under him, but they still have to pay this. I'm like, okay, he knows, he actually knows a little bit about Instagram, apparently. So I say, okay, so do you have his approval? 100%, of course. What else would he say? So I'm like, okay. He says, are you making the balance payment now? So as to proceed. So I'm just like, just waiting for a quick answer from Adam to confirm he's the uncle of my brother's mother. Get it? My brother's mother? So he's like, okay, no problem. Your verification is still pending here. So when you're done with him, let me know. Tell him from Tamil, the Instagram verification department, unit A23536. I'm like, sure, thanks. You're welcome. And then what I did was, because I kind of have a archive of all of the Q&As that Mosiri ever did, or most of them, I remembered he was talking about this very scam at some point in his Q&As, in his weekly Friday Q&As or something like this. So I went ahead, took this Q&A, and where the question was, I actually put a little bit of a different text inside and sent it to our old friend, Tamil. I paid Tamil from your verification department to verify my account. Should I pay him the rest or does he want to fool me? All right? And this is what Maziri said to this question. No, it's a scam. You cannot buy verification. If someone is trying to sell you verification, even if they are verified, most likely what happened is they hacked a verified account, took it over and switched it to a scam. So please report it. It is a scam. Do not respond. What happened was, obviously, he didn't respond anymore. So I went to his profile and guess what actually happened? The user is not found. And I think he did not just block me. He actually deleted his account. So guess that was a scam. You know, in case you didn't know by now. <laughs> so yeah, I got scammed for a hundred bucks. It seems like I'm not verified yet. <laughs> Working on that. He's gone, but there's probably a million of those other profiles. The minute he was deleting his profile, he probably already has 300 more profiles like this, reaching out to people. So what I want you to do is, Please be careful. Don't listen to these people that can promise you to actually verify your account for just a small sum. There is kind of ways to get you verified or to help you get verified, you know, but th these things usually cost thousands of dollars or you actually are some legit person, you know, which is actually the best way. You are, you have publicity outside somewhere. You're kind of at risk of being you know, impersonated or something like this. Well, but then the verification is going to go through. You know, we have a lot of clients actually that we've helped get their ver their accounts verified. And what the only thing that we did was to fill out this form and kind of show them, well, this is actually the real deal. This is actually some you know, person who's kind of known outside of Instagram. So yeah, take care of that and be sure to like this video because I just lost a hundred bucks and I'm sad. You know, what could I have done with a hundred bucks? Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, my friends. I'll see you guys in a few days because I have some very special announcement regarding my upcoming black file, Instagram black file. So I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.